Welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the one and only Nervos Network, folks. I am all decked out in my gear because guess what? It's a big day today for Nervos Network, and I'm extremely happy that they have gone through their uh, having. Now, we're going to talk all about that, the ecosystem news, but we're going to do some housekeeping here quickly. The Ultimate Risk V event is going down in collaboration with Polkadot, Nervos, Cosmos, Rooch, Risk Zero, hosted by the one and only folks, Bitcoin Queen. Check her out on Twitter. Good stuff there. Now, this is interesting. I can't wait for this. It'll be on YouTube. Very easy to access. But please, folks, just register. You can find the registration link in the description and the pinned comments. Uh, big shout out. Jordan Mack hooked me up with all these balloons he actually hooked me up with like a ton more and i had this whole backdrop full of these balloons but they don't like tape well to a green screen so some of them are still up there and they look great i might just leave these things up for as long as possible but you can see jordan mack boy oh boy he's over there loading up these balloons man looks good looks good uh so uh, what's going on today with Nervos? Well, I was very happy, very honored to be on this call in Discord with Nervos Network. A lot of the leadership was there, which was great. It's great to hear everyone so excited for the future of Nervos Network. I'll also link to the CKB first having party in the end comments of this video so you can just hop right on over to it i promise you uh you won't miss out there was some great conversation going on i just feel like man maybe we should have these types of discussions bi-monthly or quarterly like this this was it was awesome uh so big thank you to nervos for having me on there i enjoyed uh talking about uh just some things that i'm doing within the mining things like that uh but you know, we ended up locking down the having right around 11.30 a.m. Central Time today. Uh, it came quick, and then boom, it was gone. And now we, we're sitting at, you know, another four years. So uh, I, I thought I would share my story about when I first learned about Nervos Network, folks. And this was... February of 2021, and it was February 21st, 2021, I got a call from a guy named Crypto Airborne, and we were trading on the Voyager Exchange. And he goes, this new coin, this new project kind of popped up. We got to look into this thing, uh, you know, because this thing was kind of like pumping. And we're like, wow, okay, this thing might be an easy scalp because you know what the Coinbase effect is. Nervos getting listed on the Voyager was great. We made a lot of money that night. But a couple days later, I just couldn't stop thinking about this project. And I did my due diligence, folks. I researched the project. And here's the like one of the first videos I did three days later on CKB. Let's see if this even picks it up. Hello, everyone. Uh, it is... What is it? Wednesday night, 2.24, 8.20 p.m. A little bit different of a video. wanted to talk about the Nervous Network I called coin, it Nervous. CKB. It just got listed on the Voyager Network. I had never really heard of the coin, to be honest with you. Uh, currently trading at uh, sub pennies. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about this coin... Um, was that uh, nervous, nervous or nervous <laughs> uh, is planning to oh, kind of combine uh, the best of Bitcoin and Ethereum into uh, one coin. Now this is going to have to be a couple part video, uh, so let's just go ahead and skip to the next video. So you guys can kind of see that I was intrigued out of the gates by the vision and the idea that it could bring the best of both worlds like bitcoin and ethereum and blend them together one thing that really attracted me to nervos at that time was simply like the uh the transaction fees because 
I was using like Ethereum and stuff, and I didn't really like paying like 50 bucks for a gas fee. Like, it pissed me off. I've probably wasted thousands and thousands of dollars on gas fees on Ethereum. And I've probably wasted, I shouldn't say waste, I've probably spent under $5 with all my transactions on CKB or Nervos Network. It's just not even comparable. It's so cost efficient. Um, you know, it's been a long time. Like I said, that was February 2021. So, I mean, you got, I'm, I'm going on, I've been in this space now with Nervos for almost three years come February. Like, it's been a long journey. I've done everything from create videos. I've, like, flown around the world just to meet, like, people within the 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 leadership like it's been great i've uh i've i've met some incredible people i've gained just this incredible uh community um you know i'm running a node now <laughs> like just to see this having happen i'm glad i'm here for it uh i'm glad i didn't uh miss out on this one because this was a big deal um speaking of this node that you see you know here i was at the denver airport i'm sure the tsa out there was probably like wtf and look at this i'm wearing the same clothes do i ever change clothes am i still wearing these same clothes you know for the like seven days ago probably i've been wearing these clothes for seven days straight now uh <laughs> just kidding uh but uh, we're going to be doing some videos on these nodes. We're going to be doing a giveaway of some of these nodes. Uh, we need to ice out or iron out some of uh, some of the things with the, with the node machines. Uh, but we're going to do a video on it. Uh, big shout out to Jordan Mack. You know, he's the guy that basically put together a low cost node machine, and um, you know, he loaned this one to me. Uh, so this is very cool. And even though even though you don't get rewards from a node machine it could be possible that you do in the future but running a node machine is somewhat of you know a very small upfront cost and then to run the node itself it's a very small cost i mean we're running a raspberry pi right so we're running a raspberry pi i should have unplugged the node and just brought it down here so you guys could see it uh, but it's just a raspberry pi and um the reason you would run a node, obviously, is to support the network. And if you are vested into the network or invested into it, basically, you would be helping to increase the node count, increase decentralization. You would be uh, aiding your potential investment. You know, so there's all sorts of reasons to run one of these nodes. And we'll get into that uh, in another later video. I just love these balloons as the backdrop. My God. They're just so pretty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to get into all that. And I know I'm a little long-winded here, folks. Uh, but let's talk about the charts right now. Uh, CKB, you know, it's been doing what CKB does. It's just teasing us at these prices. Uh, right now, Nervo sitting at rank 219. I mean, this thing's still up 44, almost 45% on the year. So, I mean, yeah. It's pretty pretty good. What in the world is this? Uh, somebody trying to rip off Nervos Network logo here? That's what I kind of thought there for a second. But, uh, you know, uh, it's sitting decent. We're, we're trading flat for a while. Uh, but here's the deal. Uh, Nervos Network, we're going to just start off this thing on a weekly chart. Um, and I am very happy to say that uh, price, and like I've been saying for like the last few months, Ever since we were like back in June, if you go back to some of my videos, folks, you'll see two white lines like this. And I was telling everybody, we need price to shoot through this gap. Get above this Ichimoku cloud, above 4.0045 on the weekly charts. Because guess what that's going to do? Yeah, it's going to send prices to the moon, uh, hopefully. Not financial or trading advice. But, you know, when price action in this chart is it's too new, you know, Nervos Network has been around four years, but on the weekly chart, it's just too new for 
uh, Ichimoku clouds to go back. But, uh, you know, when you look at price action, I'll show you on the daily, and Nervos Network is way above the Ichimoku cloud on the daily. So this is very good to see here. Uh, but you can see once price action climbs above the Ichimoku cloud, it tends to increase. So that's what I'm hoping on this weekly chart uh, happens. But for now, we need to see price go to 0 0.0045 and maintain a higher level than that probably by the end of february i'm hoping it's you know three months out so that's what needs to happen right now so we got that we've got the time and i think that the markets are are being somewhat uh reactive to um you know bullish sentiment i i feel like People are thinking it's more of a beginning of a new bull run than it is like the end of a bear market. Like I, I think the sentiment has changed that we are at the end of a bear market to we are at the beginning of a bull market. I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys feel like in the comments. Are we? I, I, we're right in that. We're right in that gray area. I, I feel like of uh, you know people just trying to navigate. Uh, myself included so um we'll figure it out but uh yeah i mean i'm just looking at this thing on the four hour chart there's some weird price action going on we had a nasty dip back on the ninth and we had uh, somebody made a huge buy here and uh you know i'm hoping to see this price uh, action keep ripping to the upside there was very nice elliott wave theory to the upside i mean yeah, you could maybe still classify that as a run uh, to the upside because technically, I don't know if this dip went lower than 0 0.2 here on an Elliott Wave Theory chart. Uh, but, you know, it, it's right, very close. So I do think that this is still a valid Elliott Wave Theory pattern. And what we need to see happen is some sort of a corrective wave like this play out and i would love to see maybe somewhat of a falling wedge or something like that happen where we get the bounce to the next level up maybe that will rip us up to that 0 0.0045 and like they said that that 0 0.0045 you can see this is where it hit some big resistance right up in that area so i think that uh is valid um one thing that I wanted to do right now is just throw up a gone fan, and I wish that I would have had this uh, placed beforehand. Uh, so let's just throw this up right now. Uh, bear with me one second, and I'll explain the mechanics of the gone fan. Uh, basically, what I like to do is find like a low point, like this low here throw up a couple 45 degree angles and then we use something called the gone fan the gan fan depending on where you're from you'll pronounce it differently and then what we do is we throw up these points and when we look at price action isn't it interesting to see you know how price kind of reacts with some of these these points you can see how price came up got rejected by this level came back down, rejected, rejected, came back down, pumped right through it, got rejected here, hung along this line here. I mean, came up, you guys can just kind of see uh, how these lines uh, really play into price action. Uh, so right now, it wouldn't surprise me to see CKB maybe come on down to the 0.00333-ish area, and this might be enough to constitute as like a corrective wave and i think that it's going to be coming down to test this uh this 200 day moving average on the four hour chart uh, if you see it failing you know we can maybe look to the 0 0.0032 ish level or 0 0.003 ish level as well uh, we'll stay in touch with this a little bit more um going forward folks but uh just you know, check out this video um, if you guys uh, want to check out the having party. Uh, it'll be right here. So this will take you to Nervous Network's having party. 
Uh, so other than that, folks, I love you all. It's been a great day. I'm going to be cranking out some videos this week. It's just been kind of crazy uh, with my life this last week. I was traveling to L.A. I was like, my wife had back surgery and like taking care of the kiddo. And it's just been crazy. I just haven't had time to like make videos and stuff. It's just been very difficult. Uh, but I'm back in the saddle now, hopefully. I'm long-winded in this video for sure. But it was well worth it because this was uh, an amazing day uh, to say the least. So we'll see you guys all in the next video.